Student carried out an experiment to determine the enthalpy of combustion uh, of ethanol, and I've been given a speak specific heat capacity. So I know the equation that I'm going to use, Q equals uh, MC delta T, so delta H equals minus MC delta T. So let's have a look at the temperature change. Am I given the temperature change? Now I've got to work it out. So let's work out the temperature change so far. It's gone from 25.1 to 40.2. Subtract the two. It's gone up from it's gone up by 15.1. So uh, I've got the specific heat capacity. So Q equals M, which is the mass of water. So remember, it's the mass of water. It's not the mass of the ethanol that's being burnt. It's the mass of the water that you're heating up and it's in grams. 150 multiplied by the specific heat capacity multiplied by the temperature gives 9467.7 joules. Now uh, it's in joules because the specific heat capacity uh, units are in joules. It eventually wants in kilojoules, so if I go small unit up to a bigger unit and divide in by a thousand, divide by a thousand, 9.4677 kilojoules. That's the heat that's given out. So now I've got to work it out per mole because it wants it per mole. So it says kilojoules per mole. So the moles of ethanol burned. So I've got to work out how many moles of ethanol I've burned. I've got 457 milligrams. I've got to get that into grams because moles is mass over MR. So 457 milligrams. If I take um, milligrams up to grams, if I'm going from small unit to a bigger unit, I'm dividing by a thousand, so it's 0.457 grams. The MR of ethanol, I can work that out, and it comes out as 46. So the moles of ethanol burn are 9.93 times 10 to the minus 3. I've got a small amount, so I'm going to have to scale up. So that I can work out how much I need to scale up by to get one mole, I do one divided by that, and it'll come out with a number, and I multiply that by the value of, um, of Q. So, this amount of energy is released when 9.93 times 10 to the minus 3 moles are burnt. So what I do is I do 1 divided by that value, and that will give me a number that I scale up by. I multiply by the number of kilojoules, and that tells me the amount of heat energy released when 1 mole are burnt. 952.99 kilojoules per mole. And that should be a negative value. It should be negative and all of my other values are to three significant figures. So I'm going to round that up to 953. So minus 953 kilojoules per mole.